Well, he better talk on it. But Jay didn't chase the make the fans them know what really I go on. Blessings Nation, now welcome to the channel. Yeah man, Jaden Chase, I know that one that we're going to bring you another reasoning upon the topic of current affairs. So if you're new to the channel, just a pass through, but you're find the reasoning insightful. Well, I'm suggesting to you that you click the subscribe icon, then put a like on the video. Also, feel free to share the video as well. But now, let's get right into the reasoning. Nation, dancehall, superstar and Jamaican music legend, Rodney Bounty Killer Price has been dragged into a multi-million dollar US scam and cyber crimes case. It has been reported that scammers have taken hundreds of thousands from US citizens pretending to be bounty. Now the star had reported that the dancehall recording artist had been fighting battles against scammers silently over the years. But in this instance, with the numerous reports and the upcoming release of his long-awaited studio album, Bounty, and his veteran producer, now manager Paul Bankilos, has issued a warning that the impersonators need to cease and desist, as the matter is now being looked into by the Jamaica Constabulary Forces Cyber Crimes Unit. Both Bounty and Banky have identified several pages that have allegedly tried to solicit money on behalf of Bounty, whose given name is Rodney Price, of course. They have also stated that they have sought the legal advice of Christopher Townsend with a view of pursuing some form of legal action, whether civil or criminal, against parties that falsely claim affiliations with them or pretend to be them. Banky and Bounty also advise persons to look carefully at pages that are claiming to belong to the artist or any member of his team. Banky also stated that what he finds strange is that it is only after being scammed that these individuals then find the real page owned by Bounty or by Banky himself to make their complaints. Now, according to Townsend, scamming is not new and the nature of it, he said, is such that it will catch persons who are not as aware or do not pay attention. He said whatever the percentage is, whether small or large, he also stated that there is another percentage that is preyed upon where persons who solicit under a page pretending to be another individual. Townsend said he himself had suffered at the hands of the scammers when a fake page was made and persons solicited pretending to be him. He said he made a report to cyber crimes and the page was removed. Now the attorney says as it relates to the next step in the pages that are impersonating Bounty Killer and Bankillos. Townsend explained that if reporting them does not assist with having them removed, the next step is to report the matter to the Cyber Crimes Unit at the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Townsend said, and I quote, It is not widely known, but they have treaties with other countries to deal with issues like these if it crosses borders. And if it is not a situation that crosses borders, then they have the wherewith to police these things that scammers do. But everything can be traced and we will be reporting it to the cyber crimes. It has been reported that some individuals have stated that they have given up to 1500 US. Some have stated less, some have stated more. But as stated, this should have no bearings on the release of Bounty Killer's first studio album in 19 years. As it speaks to the Jamaican music culture, this is definitely celebrated on a cultural level and of course highly anticipated by international fans as well as local fans. The album of course has been titled King of Kingston and is slated to be released during the Christmas season of the present year, it is executively produced by Davian Junegang Mali. 
But of course, Bounty Kill already detailed that international superstar producers like Khalid, among others, have contributed to the project as well. It is said that the massive double album will feature at least 34 songs and feature at least 30 artists. Definitely a big album. So, if you see, all of this will take place while Bounty are geared up towards releasing the album. I feel the best move are they definitely to seek some legal advice. Because sometimes in legal situations, people are take advice from people who have one never been in a situation similar to that or don't have the legal knowledge to help another individual with decision making. So seeking the advice of an attorney at law are the best move. And basically, Townsend, the fact that he himself has experienced the situation. Not only does he have the legal experience, the legal knowledge, him got through the situation already and has had his situation resolved. Him said first and foremost, reporting the, reporting the pages, detailing what take place and reporting it so that the teams that manage these social media sites can delete the pages right away because they are also thinking about the integrity of their platform and then the one them type of thing that take place on the platform so right away if them can remedy the situation they will if them can't handle the situation Townsend is reporting that the next step is to take the matter to the cyber crimes unit because and this is what he has stated most individuals feel like things they might do on the internet because if pages are fake it can trace back to them he's saying that the cyber crimes unit has their wheels these are officers who have been trained in the matter and they have their ways of finding the culprits so bounty and banky are stating that whether legal action will come in the form of a criminal suit against these individuals meaning the state I do for them thing, I prosecute them for the wrongs and the criminal activity that they are now engaged in or something civil where Bounty and Banky can then recoup from these individuals. Now as it pertains to Bounty and his image on an international level, this is a situation that has been faced by every single superstar across the world. Michael Jackson are there. And the page I'm pretending to be in might still be up right now. You name them from musicians, actors, actresses, models, fashion designers, fashion houses. They have all been through a, similar, a situation similar to this one. Now, Banky also point out something very important. One, people should pay close attention. We all know all the channel them are the pages were certified. You know that blue tick somebody. Pay close attention to things that, you know, show authenticity. Then he also pointed out that it's only after something reach these individuals. Then all of a sudden them find out, say, all right, this is the, the real page. Hold them certain said the real page, this. The same way they make certain so the page, this when they make them complaint. Them should also make certain before making any form of payments and giving any money to any individual. But you know it go. These individuals who do these things go through great lengths to do what they do. And you know, some of them are very crafty. Talk to me in the comment section. I don't know how to feel about the whole situation. Vice said one called Jane Chase, the news correspondent. So if you're new to the channel, just a pass through. But you like the reason, of course. You like the point of view well i'm suggesting to you that you click subscribe icon then the bell icon of course put it on all and this is how you know you'll be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here on the platform the like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon drop a like and boost a share tell a friend to tell a friend to tell them sister and them brother them for check out your channel check out the reason join the discussion comment section of me 24 7 it never lock yet just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines but other than that drop your thoughts your comments and yes your opinions there and we can continue the reasoning via the comments in section you know the something as i'm saying definitely a situation of concern for bounty
and the best move was definitely to seek legal action. So Townsend have the legal expertise. Townsend is also a person that has gone through this particular situation. So you know what I mean? And of course, this has no bearings, no effect, and is soon to be released to the album. Until the reason again, new the sentiments. Live, love, and prosper. Stay tuned.